Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another KSP video 10% science mode, career mode. Now unfortunately we are in the middle of what could be considered as the grind. We have just enough science to get by and just enough money to get by. However, when it comes to exploring other orbital bodies, I don't think we have the tech for it. That being said, this is the space car. So regardless of what kind of technology we have, we're going to the f***ing moon. Robin Rich, thank you so much for subscribing and welcome to the fold. Oh no, what I join? Space Cop. Now I realize I can make the craft lighter, but I'm not a masochist. I don't like strapping a little Kerbal into a tiny little can for however many days he's going to be out there. So I wanted to give him some room. So in a sense, I kind of try to imagine that there's a capsule and then he can go to the back and the back has some sort of living quarters with food, oxygen, air, sleep, and maybe even the ability to bathe in some way. So I'm going to do it, even though it's going to be heavier. So fuck it. Is it super duper amazing? Amazingly efficient? Uh, no. No, the, the most efficient way would be to strap his ass on the side of the rocket using duct tape, but we're not going to fucking do that, okay? So I've never tested this design before, but it's, it's safe to say that it will probably explode on the launch pad. I can't use the launch pad that we have. I have to use the runway because the launch pad is not upgraded for a vessel of this size or weight. Now these parachutes are not attached to these side boosters. They're actually attached to the core. And the reason for that is because of the fact that these boosters boosters we don't have struts so these boosters are attached to this very top part right here which means that during launch they're going to wiggle and wobble these right here these these radial mounted parachutes will hold them in place they'll try to wibble and wobble but because of the fact that i've selected same vessel interaction a setting that you can set under settings it's called tweak advanced tweakables you can go ahead and select that and it'll allow you to have a bunch of other options in your window but this will hold them in place so if they start to wibble and wobble hopefully these parachutes will keep them from going nuts that's the idea don't know if it's going to work this whole thing is made out of several stages of course it's not going to be an ssto not this level of technology so we are going to have our first stage with this bottom part second stage with the sides third 
third in the middle, and finally the fourth one will be the actual lander. And of course the fifth, of course, is the uh, the actual spacecraft itself when it comes back. Hopefully everything will work, nobody will die. Okay, this is going to be a test launch. We are not actually going to try to land on the moon at all. We're just going to see if it can reach it and its re-entry capabilities. I'm really nervous about this. Really nervous. Uh, two. Main engine start. One. Okay, so definitely it wasn't uh, any moon landings or anything, but it was a good test. A very, very good test. We know that this thing can survive re-entry. Granted, it wasn't like at, you know, the top speed, but we know it can survive. I'm probably going to take a little bit of a blader off because of the fact that I think maybe it needs maybe a quarter of that, but we'll see. I'm very happy with the design. Actually looks kind of cool, especially with the uh, service bay open like that. It's almost like it has its own little, like, four-way fins or something, plus uh, any antenna. Yeah, if it has antenna. But anyway, okay, so I'm very happy with that. We're probably going to need a little bit more umph so I can get some more fuel up there because 1600, not the greatest uh delta v for actually landing on the moon and coming back all right let's get back to work did i also mention that without even trying we landed near the ksc i mean i mean that's pretty cool now i'm not gonna lie <laughs> I don't, maybe that's a good omen i don't know we'll see the reliant without atmosphere in space is at 1154 and the swivel in space gives us 1087 so yeah according to kerbal and space engineer it's a uh, space engineer <laughs> the Reliant is actually better for space travel at this point in time, whereas the swivel is not. However, if we turn atmosphere on, the Reliant only gives us 986, whereas the swivel only gives us 849. So all in all, the swivel is not that great of an engine when it comes to Delta V, but like the name suggests, it has thrust vectoring. So you sacrifice Delta V to get the thrust vectoring capability. So for right now, in this in this current tech tree, the best engine for space space travel is Reliant, even though it has no thrust vectoring whatsoever. It's funny how this thing is actually starting to turn into the behemoth like the Apollo was back in the day. Uh oh. Uh Okay, we need to launch now. The the glitchy glitchy is the Kraken is trying to do something. Please don't die in three, two, one, and go. Alright, we're gonna abort. This is this is not going anywhere quick. I mean, I don't know, at least we saved some of the ship. <laughs> okay, it looks like it's stable. What I did differently was, of course, I made these a little lighter and I made the core same vessel interaction as well as everything else. So not only can it not bounce out because it has the radio mounted parachutes as same vessel interaction that are tied to the core, but the core itself is also like a wall. So these are locked in as well as these up here. Let's hope that works in three, two, one, ignition.
so I'm looking at the meters per second in our orbit and the meters per second delta V we have and we we have enough to land but we don't have enough to take off or go back so this is just gonna have to be a round trip around the moon and then back to Kerbin maybe this will give us enough science that we can actually unlock something that will help us be able to carry more Delta V to the moon in order to attempt a landing. Holy shit, 19 science earned from that trip. Total of 36. Holy crap. Oh, oh look at our funds. Our funds jumped hard. And he gained, he's uh, level three, I guess. Okay, that was a win, man. Holy shit. Okay, hear me out. Uh, hear me out. <laughs> hear, hear me out. Hear me out. Um, if we get just a little bit more science, we can actually unlock struts, which will allow us to have stable, large vehicles. It also unlocks the crew cabin, okay? So, we, hear me out. Uh, or we could unlock basic science, which would give us more science junior parts, batteries, and the ability to send curb not to have to send Kerbals anymore because we have the state Putnik. As well as the high gain antenna, but oh man, come on, oh man! All right, I'm gonna leave it up to my audience. I'm gonna leave it up to my audience. If if you think we should do general construction with the crew cabin and the struts, let me know. Uh, and if you think that we should do the basic science, so we can have batteries. Uh, we can have remote control capability and, of course, more ability to make more science. Let me know. Yes, the Science Junior, we could go all around Kerbin again and grind hard and get more science out of Kerbin. All that jazz, that would allow us to do that. Or we could build stable, large crafts and possibly get a whole lot of money. Uh, maybe even build a space station using crew cabins uh, in space for tourism. So, I will leave it up to you guys. Alright, this one is number 9, a little green 9. This one is number 7. For all of you who want to choose, either put 9 in your comment or 7 in your comment. Alright, so if you've made it this far in the video, congratulations. Uh, I will be looking at the comments. If it says 9, we're going to go for 9. If 7, I'm going to count them all. I'm going to count them all and uh you you have until friday so actually no you don't have until friday because i have to make i have to make the video on thursday thursday yep so there you go all right um thank you so much for watching if you liked what you saw please leave a like if you loved what you saw consider subscribing we also have a membership program if you become a member you get cool little emojis and badges and stuff next to your name pretty cool check it out also we have that very deceptive bell notification that i'm hearing people saying it's working and then other people saying it's not working that you gotta do some weird thing to it i don't know anymore it is what it is but uh, there you go so all right that's it for tonight thank you so much for watching or not tonight well you'll you'll see this my time about 11 o'clock or so and um, yeah however that works i'm eastern standard time virginia
there you go. Love you all. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye. I kind of like the big old rockets in the back. I just wish it was more stable. These worked, right? The radio things worked, but they weren't perfect. I don't, I don't think I could squeeze any more stability out of them, even if I brought them. Maybe if I bring them, I'll try bringing them in more. We can go for another shot. This works. It's, it's haphazard as fuck, but it works. I don't see it landing anytime soon, unless we get our flight pad path a little bit better. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Bing, bada, boom, bing, ding, dong, boom, bing, bing. There it is. Uh.